mayor of El Cajon, the one that was elected, <laughs> yes. is here. Bill Wells is Good joining morning. us to talk about a variety of topics. Good morning to you. How are you? We Go wanted ahead. to we wanted to, to to start with the the drought. The uh, Governor Brown last week saying everybody needs to cut back 25 percent. The city of San Diego has done some uh, of its own work with the drought. El Cajon, where, where do you see El Cajon going with this? I'm, a, I'm assuming you're in, a, you're in a very dry climate in East County. You've been doing such stuff for years. You know, I think El Cajon, like most cities, have seen this problem coming. and We've proactively been working on it by uh, enacting as much zero-scape landscaping as we can and drought-resistant landscaping. And we're <coughs> obviously going to have to step it up a little bit now that the, the governor has taken it to this next level. So we're going to certainly comply with everything the governor has asked us to do, and then we'll meet as a council our, our staff will give us recommendations. We'll take our own steps as well. What will the people of El Cajon see? I mean, I know we were just talking a second ago about you have some water features there. Do you think that those will be shut off as a result of this? You know, that's a possibility. I, it seems unlikely that if we're that much of a problem that we'll be able to keep those water mm -hmm. features going. And <clears throat> those are something that we'll wait for when times are better with right. water, just like financial issues. You've been in that community for a long time. Does this, uh, do residents handle this well? Have they done well in the past? Or do you see violations that need to be improved? Well, you know, I think <clears throat> there's always going to be, be people that have issues with it, but frankly, we've seen a significant, if you talk to Helix Water District, we've seen a significant reduction in uh, water use. When we ask people to conserve, they've conserved, and so I don't see this being a problem. Okay. So we, we're going to continue to see you, I'm sure, about the drought, and as this continues on, you I'm know. I'm hoping it's a, a wet, wet. Uh, <laughs> I know. I <laughs> know. We all are. Next but, winter. But I also want to talk to you because th just a couple of weeks ago, and we've been seeing it throughout the county, these, um, Online threats yeah. made by students against their own high schools, against other high schools, sometimes as young as like middle school. And in El Cajon, there was an eighth grader that threatened El Cajon High School on that Burn Book app. What are you guys doing to tackle that, those issues? Well, I think we continue to work closely with the school district. We've got a great school district, a great superintendent out there, and we have El Cajon police that are embedded in the schools. So they're busy involved in all the aspects of what's happening in the school. We certainly have a detective department that follows up on all these leads and we're just being very proactive. Mm -hmm. we, we don't want any problems like that. Is there that. more to be done? I, I think there's always more vigilance you you can do and th these are emerging problems. You know, as, as a Technology increases, new problems come about that nobody really could see in the in the in the past. So we're we're reacting to them as, as quickly as we can. I know you came to talk about several events that are going on in El Cajon. One is that classic that car show that, that that's that's a centerpiece to El Cajon in the summertime. Yeah, we're about to re start the summer uh, Wednesday night car show. If you haven't been out there, it's got to be the best classic car show in Southern California. They, they, people, we, we close off the streets, people from all over the, the state come and bring their classic cars. Any kind of car you want to see is going to be there on it Wednesday It feels night. like you're going back into the 50s and 60s, isn't <laughs> it? It's, it's fun. great, yeah. cool cars It's out fun, there. and there's thousands of people, and there's, there's lots of food, and there's, it's just a lot of music, there's bands that play, it's, it's a lot of fun. I know you had another event you wanted to speak about, too. Well, there's a couple there's of things. several. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, probably one of the, the best things is America on Main Street. That is um, <clears throat> late in May, I believe, the 30th of May, mm -hmm. and it, um, no, no, I'm sorry, May 16th, and America Main Street is, is a big carnival. We'll have a Ferris wheel and pony rides and uh, five different stages with bands, lots of music, uh, 150 booths from, a, from around the uh, the area, people showing off interesting things, where it'd be kind of like a mini uh, state fair. You're right, it is May 16th. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. going through the list here, there's about 25 good things going on in yeah. El Cajon <laughs> coming in the next few months, right? And what's I think what's really neat about about our fair is that <clears throat> we don't charge any money for, for any of the rides or the attractions. Mm -hmm. And when I went last year, I, I took my grandkids and we went, and I had a lot of people come up to me and said, thank you for doing this because I wanted to take my kids to the state fair but I couldn't do it because it was too expensive. Mm -hmm. And so this is a chance for people to come out. Right. And, is there and do a kind of website? Other, we'll put it on KUSI. But all these things that are going on in El Cajon. Yeah, they just, just go to just Google the city of El Cajon. The city of El Cajon's yeah. website has all these all these things that are happening. All right, all right. Bill Wells. Thank you so Not much here. for coming thank in this morning. Well, thank you very much. Good to see you.